One of the questions I'm constantly asking myself is, what's the point of working in crypto if you're not earning crypto? From my perspective, if a project is paying its contractors in fiat currencies, it shows low confidence in the project's native coin or token. If it works, you should want to be paid in it. Decred solved this problem from day one and only pays its contractors in DCR. This is made possible by the tools that it's built to facilitate it, including Politea, which is Decred's proposal system, Decred's contractor management system, CMS, and Decred's decentralized treasury. All of these elements are systemized to form a layer one decentralized autonomous organization or DAO. Although some elements of the system require manual input, like invoice review and onboarding contractors to CMS, most elements are already fully decentralized, including proposal voting and treasury spending. How it works. As discussed in the last video, contractors can work for a proposal, several proposals, or create their own proposal using the Politea platform. Contractors need to be added to CMS so they can produce monthly invoices. This can be done through the proposal owner. If you are the proposal owner, at the time of writing, you'll need to request initial access in the support channel on chat.decred.org. Once added to CMS, you'll have to submit an invoice each month for the work completed. This work will continue until the proposal expires. A typical proposal ranges from three months, six months to one year. On the first day of each month, a new invoice period is released. Contractors are advised to submit their invoices in the first seven days of each month. Once submitted, these invoices will be reviewed by the proposal owner and project reviewers. At this point, if an invoice is perceived as incorrect, a correction will be asked for. If an invoice continues to be perceived as incorrect, it will be rejected. The review period is a precursor to the final stakeholder vote, which makes sure that there are no issues with contractor invoices before they get added to a T-spend. Filling in an invoice. To complete your invoice, there are a few elements that need to be included. Invoice date. New invoice periods are published on the first day of each month, e.g. November's invoice range will be published on the 1st of December. Payment address. Each invoice requires a new receive address. The same address cannot be used twice. It's also important to note that numerous wallets, including Binance, Trust, and the Exus wallet, etc., don't always recognize the T-Spend transaction. It's for this reason it's recommended that contractors use a Decred-specific wallet like Decrediton. Contractor rate. This is typically set at $30 per hour for new contractors. A new line item is needed for each piece of work conducted. It's also possible to submit line items for different proposals in the same invoice. New line item. One line item should be entered for each individual piece of work completed. Type of work, labor, expenses, etc. Domain, marketing, developer, designer, research. Subdomain, the kind of work completed, so for example, videos, articles, development. Description, this should include a brief description of work completed and a link to that work. Proposal, which proposal the line item belongs to. Number of hours spent on that line item. Contractor exchange rate. As said previously, Decred contractors are paid in DCR. To determine this rate, Decred uses the average US dollar exchange rate for DCR from the last 30 days. This creates a fascinating dynamic, which isn't to everyone's liking, but it can offer some interesting benefits if your Decred horizon is long enough. For instance, if the 30-day average price of Decred is $12 and your invoice bill is $1,000, the amount of Decred you earn is 83.33 DCR. During times of uncertainty and price devaluation, a contractor will yield a higher DCR amount for their dollar earnings. All the time the price of DCR is going down, you'll continue to lose dollar value but increase your DCR value. This is the opposite in times of certainty when DCR price is gradually rising. For instance, you still earn $1,000 per month, but now the 30-day average of DCR is $60, which means you earn 16.66 DCR. During these times, your DCR value goes down, but your dollar value goes up. There are a few strategies for dealing with the rise and fall of the DCR contractor exchange rate, but I'll leave that for another time. Finally, the T-spend. Once all the invoices have been submitted and the reviews are complete, the T-spend is ready to be published. The T-spend is a unique transaction that allows money to be spent from the Decred Treasury. For reference, Decred's Treasury is awarded 10% of the block reward for each block. 
the amount has been accumulating and is now over 870,000 DCR. Remember also that Decred has a maximum supply of 21 million coins, which makes this amount even more impressive and increases the longevity of the project. At Decred's current low price of $15, the treasury is worth over $13 million. When the T-spend is ready, it gets published on-chain for a stakeholder vote. Effectively, there are two keys. The first key is used to publish the transaction, and the second key requires a majority yes vote from the stakeholders for the treasury spend to be processed. If the stakeholder vote doesn't pass, the second key is not activated, and the T-spend transaction is rejected. No money from the treasury gets paid out. If the majority vote is successful, the T-spend is considered valid and the second key approves the transaction. The invoices and the addresses listed in the transaction receive their payments. Decred Workforce There are a few interesting things at play here, but ultimately Decred has built the technology that allows for a completely permissionless and decentralized workforce. Over the last few years, Decred has made some considerable steps in this area and is tentatively working towards a fully functioning Layer 1 decentralized autonomous organization.